On Monday, the football world was put into a frenzy after it was revealed that FSG had put Liverpool Football Club up for sale. Already days after, there has been a handful of potential buyers of Merge, and today, The Athletic have reported that four different Dubai-based groups are plotting a bid for the club. In today's video, we will go over this and also take a look at one of the favourites who has ruled himself out of buying the club. Not only that, we will also take a look at what assistant manager Manager Pep Linders had to say about FSG wanting to sell. We'll also provide you with an update on Luis Diaz as a return date becomes more clearer. And finally, we take a look at the four things you need to know ahead of Liverpool versus Derby County in the Carabao Cup. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Before we get into today's video, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Investors in Dubai are weighing up purchasing Liverpool for £4.3 billion after Fenway Sports Group put the club up for sale according to reports in the Middle East. FSG are willing to offload the Reds after 12 years of ownership and released a statement on Monday confirming it would consider new shareholders if it was in the best interests of Liverpool as a club. Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley are assisting with the process as offers are invited. Liverpool were valued at over £3.5 billion by Forbes in May this year, nearly 12 times the amount FSG purchased the club for back in 2010. The American sports investment company has set a £4 billion asking price to part ways with the club, so it would take a hugely rich individual, a consortium, or a state to take over the Reds. The Athletic have reported that four different Dubai-based groups have already been in touch with the Emirate of Dubai about buying Liverpool, but those groups at the time of recording have failed to prove they have sufficient funds so far. The prospect of a Middle Eastern investor buying the Anfield side appears one of the more likely options due to the wealth from the Gulf states. In an eye-catching update on Tuesday, Arabian Business reported that Dubai International Capital could be eyeing a purchase for Liverpool. It would not be the first time DIC has attempted to take over Liverpool, as it was failed with a £310 million bid back in 2007. Samir Al Ansari, the founding chairman of Dubai's Sovereign Wealth Fund, opened up about the offer during an interview with Arabian Business in 2014 and claimed that the holdup was down to him being a Liverpool fan. When the news broke on Monday, a lot of people believed that Sir Jim Ratcliffe would be a potential buyer after attempting to buy Chelsea with a late offer earlier this year and expressed public interest in trying to buy Manchester United. However, the British billionaire has ruled himself out of buying Liverpool, insisting he no longer sees value in owning a Premier League club, saying... Our position has developed since the summer, and we are now focusing our efforts in Nice and raising our ambitions for the club to make them into a top-tier club within France to compete with Paris Saint-Germain. This would represent much better value for our investment than buying one of the top-tier Premier League clubs. Since the announcement was made on Monday, Jurgen Klopp has not been able to have his say on the matter. However, assistant manager Pep Lingers voiced his ahead of the clash against Derby County. This is what he had to say regarding FSG putting Liverpool up for sale. First of all, everybody who knows us in the last years, everybody who realised who we are as a club, realised we have a strong relationship with the owners. We knew before, of course, we knew about the statement, nothing more than you guys knew. What I would like to say is always knew the owners act in the best interest of the club, and they always did. I believe they always tried at least. This relationship was very important for us. I think the statement was very clear. How did it distract us? To be honest, this is what I would like about our club. We're so focused. There was a small discussion, a little bit of talk between Jürgen and me, but from that moment on, we start focusing. The saga is likely to go on for a little while longer, but make sure you are subscribed to our channel and we will keep you up to date with the whole process.
In other news, Pep Linders provided a detailed injury update, revealing that James Milner won't be ready to take part in the game as he continues to follow concussion protocols. Luis Diaz won't be involved, of course, but Liverpool's assistant boss did say that the Colombian is now running again and should be ready to take part in the Reds Dubai training camp during the World Cup. Diego Jota, meanwhile, is facing a longer period out with a serious calf injury, while Linders suggested that both Joel Matip and Naby Keita could miss the final games before the break. Liverpool begin their defence of the League Cup with a third round tie against Derby at Anfield on Wednesday, returning to matters on the pitch after a chaotic few days relating to the club's ownership. In this part of the video, we're going to go through the four things you need to know ahead of the clash. Expect wholesale changes. Having played 11 games in the last five weeks, this was always going to be the game Liverpool used as an opportunity to rotate ahead of another crucial Premier League encounter this weekend. There's every chance Klopp will change the entire 11 for this game, but even so, his side should have more than enough to see off League One derby. The likes of Kelleher, Calvin Ramsey, Joe Gomez, Nat Phillips, Curtis Jones, Fabio Carvalho, and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain are all in line to star. Youngsters to be involved A number of Liverpool's most promising youngsters have been involved within the first team over the majority of the season as a result of the club's persistent injury problems. Stefan Bishesic and Bobby Clark made their senior debuts earlier in the campaign and are both expected to feature on Wednesday evening. There was an interesting line from Lingers on Tuesday suggesting that a young scouser could also be involved in the game. The lineup certainly promises to be an intriguing one. What to expect from Derby County? Having been relegated from League One after a 21 point deduction in last season's championship, Derby are currently 7th in the league table, having picked up 25 points from their opening 16 matches. Wayne Rooney stepped down as manager in June before Liam Rosener stepped in as interim boss, but in late September, Paul Warren took the role on a permanent basis after leaving Rotherham United. Their form since then has been mixed, with their most recent result a 2-2 FA Cup draw with National League side Torque United. Among the players in their squad that you'll probably recognise are Connor Horain, James Chester, David McGoldrick and Curtis Davies, while their top scorer this season is Republic of Ireland striker James Collins. The match is not televised in the UK. Those of you that live in the UK won't be able to watch this match live on Wednesday night, with Manchester City's meeting with Chelsea being shown on Sky Sports instead. Whilst this is super annoying, if you do want to be kept up to date, join us live here on the channel for commentary at 7.15 on Wednesday night. Lastly, whilst he no longer plays for Liverpool, I just wanted to let you know that Sadio Mane will miss the World Cup as it has been confirmed that he has picked up an injury. Liverpool fans, what do you make of the Dubai parties being interested in buying the club and would you want Liverpool being owned by a state much like Paris Saint-Germain, Manchester City and Newcastle United? Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Thank you and I'll see you all next time. Take care, peace.